Welcome back to another episode of Door Kickers 2 Task Force North, where we've been using realistic military tactics and CQB doctrine to play this game, Door Kickers 2 Task Force North. We return to the campaign. We've been working our way slowly but surely through it. Actually, a new little group of levels just got plugged in between Tiny Troubles and Extreme Rescue. So today we're looking at a deck of cards. The level is Jack of Hearts. The Jack of Hearts is a high-value target today. We're tasked with finding, locating, capturing, and extracting him. We've got six assaulters to make that happen. This level is complex and enormous. And, uh, and I'm looking at it. It looks like sort of a, an executive suite kind of thing. We've got a big swimming pool area here in the background. This thing is enormous. Um, this is going to be a challenge. This is going to take a minute. hope you guys have a second. There's a fire going in the background. Um, man, what a cool level design. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cars. Uh, that leads me to believe a meeting of some sort or a, a residence where you've just got a lot of people present. So there's going to be a, a high number of individuals out here dumpsters outside seem to be full don't see anything weird about them same thing inside some kind of junk laying around in addition to all those vehicles i've also got some motorcycles here little moped looking thing interesting the cars in the garage they've got doors open so maybe we have some people departing or some people arriving um but it's you know most of us would not leave our doors open on vehicles so that's just something that i i quickly noticed um here we've got a a camera We've seen this before, this kind of signature typically associated with, uh, you know, terrorist cells that are making videos. And sure enough, if you look over here, we can start seeing some weapons about the area. Um, really like high dollar, high brow kind of spot. Um, man, this place is enormous. They got a little home theater here. That might be the master bedroom there. Of course... Gosh, they've got so many different areas. It's hard to tell exactly where the master bedroom might be, so it's tough for me to prioritize uh, what room to go after. I see four AK variants here, or three and a half AK variants there. Um, I'm going to be watching to see if those disappear after we're compromised. So I've seen five weapons so far, a ton of vehicles. This place is going to be packed. This is going to be a giant gunfight. I think this could be our master bedroom just based off the shape. It's got a nice suite attached to it. It's connected to this other room. So you've got a suite that... Oh, it's not actually connected. Yeah, it's got its own bathroom here. Interesting. Every single room in this house looks baller. I would live here. <laughs> They've got an outdoor kitchen and bar area. Uh, man. I don't think there's any point in trying to be quiet. I think we're going to get compromised, and after we get compromised, there's going to be such a big gunfight afterwards. It's just going to take so long to get through here. We're going to want big, loud, scary guns, and so I'm going to, I'm going to plan it that way. Um, I'm going to go. Let's see here. I'm going to go assaulter, okay. assaulter, okay. We'll grenadier, go. grenadier, okay. marksman. Believe it or not. And I get one more. I think I'm going to bring a second assaulter. Roger. Affirmative. Assaulters. Looks like across the board we've got Glock 19s. Hollow points. How many? Uh, I'm looking at methods of breaching now. Wall charge, smoke, frags, extended vest. We've got more vest options now. Um, I'm going to stick with the extended ranger vest I think just to get some extra protection our GLs are running M4s with the 203 EO text frags bangers slap charges I think both of them look the same there um, swapping this guy over to hollow point as well he's also running extended ranger vest M4 with the EO tech he's got wall charge and flashbangs I think I'm going to need more flashbangs than the ones I'm showing. So I'm, I'm actually not going to use a ton of smoke here, I don't think, except to get through a couple of these open areas. But I'm going to need a bunch of flashbangs and a bunch of ways to get inside. Um, okay. I think I'm going to bring one dynamic hammer, just in case we run out of 
uh, wall shots and slap charges. So that's frag, slap charges, dynamic hammer, frags, flashbangs, wall charge. I'm actually going to swap these for smokes for the sniper. I think I'm happy with this setup. Let's take a look at this thing. I think there's bad guys here based off of these doors being open and then just the sheer number of vehicles I have out here. And I think there's some sort of gathering or a party going on because I see a fire outside. And so I'm expecting to see people here. And I'm expecting to see people here. If this is where our head honcho, the Jack of Hearts, is living, he's probably hosting this gathering. If he's hosting, that means he's going to be with the party goers. Um, so he's going to be in a common area where everybody is hanging out. Um, so I'm thinking either the pool hall here, outside here, or if there's like a common area, maybe in the foyer, in this kind of area. So all that in mind, uh, before we do commit, I do want to establish good um, isolation and containment around this place. I don't want to leave any flanks open where we could be maneuvered on if we were to leave them unsecure. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, stick a, uh, a camera, which I need to equip now that I think of it. I think I'm going to go stick a camera under this door, take a peek like this. And if I'm able to, I'll, I'll toss a smoke wherever it needs to be to get a battle position down into this spot. I might even have to wall shot into here. But at the end, I want a battle position here that's able to cover like this. And then uh, and then once all of that is done, I think I, I kind of also want to push long this direction, conduct an external clearance of this window, and then establish a second battle position on this corner so I can kill anybody that's squirting out this way. Once that's all said and done, I think I'm going to commit my assault force via a wall breach through this portion of the compound and begin doing a deliberate clearance to try and find our HVI. So let's get to work. This is going to be a spicy one. It looks exciting. I'm excited to check it out. Um, we didn't really talk about civilians, but um, based off the signature, you know, there's probably some civilians in here, probably um, some spouses and stuff like that. Uh, but let's uh, let's get to work. First thing we're going to do move forward with drummer drummer's gonna pull security on this door the whole time while he does that we're gonna go ahead and push up here pull security adjacent to him philly will come forward with the spy camera and he's gonna go ahead and get that spy camera under this door oh is he not able to what is this sheet metal gate he might not be able to that creates a challenging problem Yeah, the tool can't be used there. That's not good. All right, spy camera is out of the question. Um, okay, I'm going to put a wall charge here. This is my best breach point. Uh, it'll give me eyes into the garage. It'll let me see if there's any people moving around there. I think I'm going to put a slap charge here so I can simultaneously engage this way. So wall charge here, slap charge here. Let's go ahead and, uh, and try to make this happen. There's the wall charge. He's going to have a buddy move with him and pull security while that happens. Uh, Philly will come forward. Who's got slap charges? Sniper won't need a ton of them, so he's going to place a slap charge here. And then he'll just back off because once this thing goes off, I want him to be able to fire straight into that area. And then his buddy will be this guy. That'll give us coverage here, here, and we'll be able to see all of this. Okay, I like this. As much as you can. Jesus Christ, things you don't consider. I guess I assumed that since we arrived in this truck, that we would have driven past any enemies that would have been located in this dead space. And now all of a sudden, we're hard compromised, and we are in a bad situation. I'm going to kill these two guys around this corner. I've got the right guys to do it, so I'm not super worried about it. Um, but we are hard compromised, and now I do know that there's civilians in the area. Ah! 
based on, based on us being hard compromised and just getting more guns in the fight. And that's why. We got hard compromised. We have squirters basically pushing us here. Um, so that wall shot or that door shot is no longer needed. And we've got good coverage. So if you see with these three guys, I'm able to achieve good eyes this direction, good eyes into this open breach. And I've got one guy dead center who's able to look long. You go ahead and blow this charge as well. Not in a hurry. So I'm going to just let these guys kind of attempt to move around their compound and end up dying as a result of it. Um, there's no reason to hustle in here. So far as we know, it's not a hostage kind of situation. It's a snatch and grab. We're looking to abduct a guy. We're not looking to uh, go in here, blast, and to save civilians. We know there are civilians there. They're not the mission, though. The mission is to get him. And we can get him slowly, especially now that we've been compromised. If we go rushing in there, we're just going to die. Okay, we've taken some contact. Uh, I think I'm going to get smokes over here to allow me to move into this battle position that we uh, we talked about earlier. Um, and if we look over here, I've got more weapons now being shown. So four AKs over there. And then uh, one of the weapons that we saw earlier on this little shelf has disappeared. So we've got people inside that we know are arming themselves now. Um, so the next plan, I think we're going to look to get this smoke right there. With that smoke out, I'm going to push. Okay, I feel reasonably good. I'm just improving our cross coverage here. All right, so that's as clear as I can probably make this um, for now. What I think I'm gonna do is have this guy turn around to what I believe is probably the most dangerous area move up another man and then bound forward with drummer into this position which i believe to be the most valuable position on the battlefield let's go okay he is now in position he's got good long security i like where he's at i'm going to move a second man now philly is going to go over here with him also at the run i'm going to widen up this sector of fire so we can pull good security for him while he goes Looking good. Um, I'm going to keep just flowing, folks, through here. We've got the security to do it, so I'm going to posture these two guys in preparation for their own move. We're going to maintain the Overwatch positions we've established with Goose and with uh, Prime, and then we've also got Drummer now pulling along this direction. Civilians coming out. See, if I'm, you know, in real life, if this person comes running at me, I'm having her stop and I'm making sure she doesn't have a vest on or anything else weird. We don't know what sort of threats we're facing in here. If there is like a S vest or something that could clack off, this is how it would be disguised. So that'd be something I'm very wary of. And now that we're seeing all this, you know, civilian signature, I can't just go dumping frag grenades and, and uh, high explosive 40 mic mic into this place. So I, I really have to be careful with how I'm employing the weapons at my disposal. Um... I kind of like this so far. Let's go ahead and get this guy into position behind this vehicle. I'm going to just sprint them into position since we've got good cover from our buddies. All right, and then my final move here is... Oh, I'm going to hold what we got, get back over here and see if we can smoke this guy. Good. I'm going to bump this guy out of position. So I'm giving up this breach, but I've got good security. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to get Goose over here into the fight. I'm going to leave my marksman covering here. Okay, now that that marksman is set, I'm also good moving Goose. I'm going to go ahead and bound Drummer forward in the same move with Meathead. That marksman's doing really good work for me. This battle position's already functioning exactly as we had hoped. Okay, I think this is probably the best spot for my marksman. Because from this position, he's able to see the garage. He's able to see this entire long axis. And, you know, he's able to see 
pretty far over to the left, all the way to that main breach. I might even inch him forward just a tad. Yeah, that's perfect right there. I'm just bounding and providing cover. So one of the principles of fire maneuver, you have a set piece and a moving piece. You never move anyone without fire. So there's an old saying, fire without maneuver is a waste of ammunition and maneuver without fire is suicide. So make sure that you are firing and maneuvering at the same time. Uh, you're constantly manipulating the enemy with your weapon systems so that you can get a position of advantage over him. All right, let's get that DMR into that sweet spot that we liked. Okay, so I think my battle position here, uh, I'm going to go GL and uh, in that DMR, and then everyone else I'm going to continue to move. So now I've got two assaulters that can maintain the entire frontage of this complex here, and they can still see that long axis there. And you guys will notice that makes an L. That's always what we're going for. And I've got four guys that are still available to, uh, to push long here. So um, we're going to go ahead and do that. Drummer is going to push. He'll hold short here. Meathead is going to be his wingman while he does it. As soon as Meathead hits this corner, he's going to pull long. We've got a little sliver, sliver of dead space right there that we need him to cover for us. So that is going to be his mission as soon as he hits that corner. Um, we're going to have Drummer actually hold for a go code before he pushes and I'm going to wait until Meathead's online with him, so that way as Drummer moves, he's got Meathead right on his left flank. And I'm also going to send the rest of these guys just cheating up this stack and move in my four-man assault element um, into position to complete creating this L-shape and prep for clearance of this compound. So here we go. Alpha, go. And we got good left security there. All right, now that we have safely bypassed that, we can return to the front. Now I've got a couple of threats here. Obviously, I've got dead space. All these windows are a threat, even though they've got, you know, uh, the curtains on them. They can absolutely still harm us. People can spray straight through those curtains, or they can rip those curtains off and begin engaging us. Okay, that looks good. While he does that, we're still maintaining long security. Let's move that stack up. Okay, next threat is in here. We're going to generate some standoff to do it. We have Drummer pulling deep, and we've got, correction, we've got, um, who is this? Uh, drummer's pulling deep, Meathead, excuse me, Drummer's going to end up pulling security on this window, and then Meathead will pull security deep. Alright, now we're going to start pying this thing off very slowly. It's probably too much. Let's just take him right here. And you see, as I'm moving him forward, he's able to pie this corner. He's going to be able to clear the rest of this room without even having to go inside. But by doing that, he's exposing himself to a lot of danger deep over here. So I pair him with a battle buddy who can pull deep security in support of his maneuver. Same old principles, fire and maneuver. I'm actually going to now step in front of his muzzle, which is dangerous. He'll lower it as we pass. I'm going to get in front of him real quick because um, now I'm worried about these. And I want to be on the far side of him. Alpha, go. All right, so this room has been completely cleared from the outside. Didn't even have to go inside. There's a door over here that I'm wary of. There's a door right here that I'm wary of. So I'm going to keep somebody on it and move everyone else up.
Okay, what's next is uh, establishing the second part of our L. So our first part's here, second part is gonna be on this corner. We're gonna clear as much of this as we can from the outside. I'll leave one assaulter here to pull security and I'll commit three to uh, to this space. So let me get somebody, we're gonna highlight this corner. I kinda wanna do it with a GL and an M4. We'll push here and here. They're gonna have this guy maintaining rear security on these closed breaches, and they've got this guy maintaining rear security on these open windows and these two closed breaches. All right, and we've got one far at that spot where we kind of thought he might be. We're gonna keep Hilo in this corner with Meathead and uh, his buddy. And we have another one far. Civilian coming at us, or is that a insurgent who wants to surrender? Okay. Letting it develop. We're going to hold this as best we can. Still have good security all the way down here. Alright, this is a problem. So, luckily we did bring two guys up here. I'm going to have to come up here with Meathead to cut this guy. We've got good security for Meathead while he does this. I do want to take a peek through that window while, real quick. That looks good. Go ahead and cuff him. Con Hands behind your back. Contact uh, deep. Suspect secured. Get back over here, bud. Okay. All right, looking good. So we do have some dead space over here. That's why I'm leaving at least one in position uh, to cover this flank. Um, everyone else is going to end up going inside. So I think what I'm going to do... Drummer's injured, so I'm not going to assault with him. I'm going to leave him here. So Drummer will be uh, our guy on security, and we'll enter and clear with Philly and with Meathead and with Bacon. And since we've already cleared this entire room, I think that's going to be our point of entry. Um, and then uh, we'll start going to work. But before we commit, I, I do kind of want to knock these drapes down and, uh, and take a look in the bathroom and clear as much of this structure as we can from the outside before we go in. Um, so we're going to prep to do that now. I think we're good here. So I've got one man who can pull security into this space. And while he's doing that, we're going to start clearing some of these drapes. So what I'm going to do is use one guy to knock these drapes down, the other guy to pull security into the room. Clear. We're going to rinse and repeat. Alpha, go. Clear with the exception of a little bit of dead space there. All right. I'm, I'm not ready to call this completely clear yet, but I am ready to come in here. And then I can pull security long and then enter and clear that little bit of dead space. And I've got the three guys right here ready to do it. And I've got security here and, and here to support them in that action. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go to work. Lead man is going to be bacon. We'll go ahead and stack. we are going through a window we want to pull security for bacon while he comes in so now he's got security he'll go ahead and enter hold short pull security on this breach and this breach now that he's in safely we can give him a second to pull security deep And then we're going to pull cross coverage on this door, enter, and clear that last spot. We can do that safely because we have security here. You guys see a recurring theme, so we're always covering each other while we move, and we're always maintaining security. So I have, at a macro level, security on this entire flank, and security on this entire flank. I've increased my security posture over here by clearing these rooms before I even went inside. I could have taken it to another level and cleared these rooms as well, but if these blinds were to be opened and anyone were to pour out, they're going to get spotted. By these two which protects his six so that's kind of where we're at right now um, next we are going to move to and uh, and enter quietly we all know how the bathroom clearance can go 
So let's generate some standoff and do this with one man. Okay, he's clear. Good. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a... Oh, I do have a wand up here. Let's go. So I'll push deep with the wand. We'll get a wand under the door. I'll come forward. We always pull security for people who are putting themselves at risk, whether they're throwing grenades or they're using wands. Not very helpful, is it? Um, okay. I think we're going to get in a big gunfight out here. That's okay, though. So what we're going to do, we're going to back off, expose as few people to the risk as possible. I'm not going to deliberately enter this place. Okay, that looks good. So this is actually a hallway. Um, so I'm going to high-low this corner, pull security of this door, enter and clear this room as our next point. So that's going to be a two-man entrance and clearance in here, which could actually be pretty tough, uh, but that's the plan. So let's go ahead and restack. I'm going to pull cross coverage on this door. They're going to go ahead and switch. Now I've got good security on this door and on this door, a little bit of threat corridor here, uh, but it gives us enough time and space to get into this room. Since this is our camera guy, I'm actually gonna move to and get a camera under this door, come here and pull long, and then pull security there. All right, one armed individual in here. Alright, let's uh, solve this problem this way. So there's no civilians in this room. I've got one veteran insurgent. I don't know. He doesn't appear to be our high value individual. So we're going to eliminate him with 40 mic mic. He has been killed. I can reset this battle position now. So just because you discover a threat with one of your guys does not mean that is the guy that has to prosecute that threat. So we can reposture security here. It is now significantly safer to enter this room, and I can do it. We're going to come through, hold, threshold, because we got to pull security on this bathroom. Bacon will come in as the two man push this corner, maintain security on this breach. Here we go, boys. Moving forward, we're just being really careful. There's been a lot of contact. There's no reason to get ourselves killed this late in the mission. So I just cleared that without having to go in. I clear this room without having to go in. So this room is clear and secure. I can reposture everybody for our next one. Cool. Um, next threat, this room and this room. This is a short room. Start working. I've already cleared most of this. Right, I'm just going to boot this and roll out. That's a problem. We'll get a grenade in there. Now we have a wounded guy. That's that's tough. 
Thank God for security. Okay, let's reset. Alright, I'm feeling reasonably confident about where we're at. I don't want to lead with Meathead anymore since he already got hurt. I'm going to give it just a second to see if anyone else pops out while we're here. And, uh, and actually, I guess, I don't need, really, to pull security on these rooms anymore. So I'm going to actually bring my Grenadier up so I've got a little bit of extra combat power with me. I don't want to be leading with Meathead anymore. Um, all right, my next move looks like it's going to be into this room. It's mostly clear. Uh, I am going to go, I think, and put a door shot on it right here. As we do that, we're going to pop out a little bit to pull security for him. His rear is exposed right now to this avenue. That's why I'm pushing forward with Philly. Restack here. I'm going to put a banger in this room after the explosion. And. Banger's going out. Go. Number one man will come in path of least resistance. He'll end up holding here. There's a weapon on the floor of note. As he approaches, I am going to have him check deep and then immediately check corner. And then once his corner is clear, come back this way. There's an open breach here, which means I could have other threats there. Um, so I'm actually going to have him, I think, hold here. On this door. Two man who just threw the flashbang. He'll come through, split other direction, take one wall, take a second wall. First thing he's going to do is check deep, then he's going to check his corner, then he's going to collapse his sector, looking at his second corner, and then he will end up actually holding deep as well, making sure that we don't have any threats coming this way. Our sniper is going to assist a little bit because he's got an angle that direction. Uh, number three man, he'll come in, hold threshold, and hold security right there. Good luck, my dudes. See, we're pieing this angle, pieing this angle. Okay, that looks good. Um, where do we want to go to work next? I kind of want to get up into these rooms. Don't have a ton of options on getting in there. Looks like the really the main breach. I'm going to have to go out. So, I mean, it looks like I'm actually going to have to hold those for last. Um, so, let's stay with what we got. Where's my camera at? Camera's over there, so I'm going to move forward and get my camera under this door while I've got security. You can do that at a run. Alright, this is a clear room visual anyway. I'm comfortable entering with a single man to clear this little bit of red space. clear okay um, I'm gonna split these two guys we're gonna get this southern portion completely clear with these two guys while we're holding this choke point so let's move over here into cross coverage my dudes cross coverage looks good go ahead and cheat up good they're going to switch. Good. We will press across. Have one maintaining security there, one maintaining security there. He'll push back up into this threshold and hold it. I can cover his six from here.
could start cheating forward with these two. I don't want him to. I don't want uh, Meathead here to com commit past this threshold until I can pull flank security with Philly. So I'm going to push Philly there, and he'll end up actually coming around and clearing the rest of this red space. And actually, I kind of want him holding there and stopping. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So he'll end up coming here and stopping, hold deep, and then uh, Meathead will kind of cheat up to protect his flank. So they're each. I've got uh, one man pulling security into this breach, and I have the other that'll be able to pull security along. Uh, and we've still got both of these axes controlled as well. Okay. Feel comfortable continuing to flow with Philly and Meathead. I'm going to push across to cover the rest of this red space. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to hold like right there. And I'm going to also push forward with Meathead to about right there. That looks good. I'm able to cheat this man up as well. Now once I do that, because I've got decent security for him, I feel comfortable now committing Philly and Meathead Simo to this breach. Lead man, two man, both prioritizing different parts of the room to get it clear as fast as possible. Lost one, damn it. Almost a flawless run, boys. We ended up taking contact, I presume, based off the angle from right over here somewhere. Or maybe even deeper back here. That's a huge, huge bummer. Um, part of the deal, though. Part of the deal. And we are well into this mission, so I'm going to finish it. There he is behind the damn pool table. Sure enough, he's dead. I've still got an open breach in here that I can't just ignore yet, unfortunately. Okay, we'll hold here. Um, I do have a, a very lonely soldier down here. So I'm going to leave one and two. Um, I really do need a two-man to help our buddy out in this room. Does he have a camera? I guess he does. Um, here's what we can do. I'm kind of comfortable outside. i got a little bit of dead space over here but what I'll do is I'll push forward with drummer and see if I can do at least somewhat of a clearance yeah this is risky especially because drummer's already injured okay I feel good let's move him back into cover good I feel much better now about committing a single assaulter to this space. Room's clear. Resetting. With all that, I think I do get Drummer back now since this has all been cleared. I'm going to go ahead and bring him up to rejoin the rest of the team. Alright, um, here's the plan. Let's uh, push deep. I've got a couple problems here. Clearly it's this one. And then the biggest problem I see is right here. So we're going to press that. Lead man will pull up and hold deep probably end up in a gunfight two man will come in and hold that breach okay with that visually cleared I'm good to push my other two assaulters to clear these two rooms so I'm going to start prepping for that now We're going to go explosive here.
was an open breach there that I was not fully aware of, so I'm glad I'm paying attention. We'll maintain security on that. This is a single man clear anyway. That's not good. Oh, that's our HVI right there. Looks like I saw one other weapon deeper, though. Okay, we're going to hold what we got. I do need to get this room clear before I press to the HVI. I've got my back turned to an open breach there, though, too. So here's what let's do. We did get a shot over the HVI's shoulder and kill the barricade shooter that was right behind him. I'm now confident that this is all pretty solidly locked down. I can pull security on this breach. That means no one will be able to get out here. There we go. I'm standing in the fatal funnel, but I'm covering two breaches. One of them open, as demonstrated. Uh, but with this position, I'll at least have early warning. So I'm able to finish working up here. Um, I don't want to turn my back on this uncleared space yet, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, and try to two-man clear that now. Open the door, get a banger through it after it's open. No need on the banger, so I can cancel it. And finally start moving up to our HVI but before we do we need to check this room near and far that room is now clear I've got one guy pulling security and one able to go grab the HVI Hands behind your back. primary target secure and mission complete. What a level. Well designed. Very challenging. Lost one. Sloppy move, but not bad for a blind look. First attempt. Really well designed level, and I really enjoyed it. It was a longer one. I hope you guys liked it too. Next time, we're going to be coming back to the Extreme Rescues mission. Remember, if you haven't yet purchased a copy of Door Kickers 2 Task Force North, you can grab it from my game store at nexus.gg slash controlled pairs gaming, where your purchase will support my channel directly, and I'm really thankful for each of you who choose to purchase the game in that way. Thanks so much. I'm Controlled Pairs. I play the most immersive PC games in the world. This is Door Kickers 2 Task Force North, and I'll see you in the next one.